This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly introduce 40 programs that are great tools that are completely free to download and use. Um, this is part two of a three-part video, so if you haven't watched part one yet, you can go back and do that uh, after watching this or before either way. Um, but by the time you've watched all three of these videos, you will have seen 120 programs that are open source, completely free to download and use programs. Uh, most of them are open source. Um, and if you want to download them and try them out for yourself, you can find download links at my website, tjfree.com. There's also instructions there on how to download and install them and how to tutorials on how to use some of these softwares, some of these, some of this software. Um, this first program, Sumatra PDF, is a lightweight PDF viewer. Um, it also views other document types. Ocular is a PDF viewer and um, also supports other document types as well. A lot, so, sort of a larger install file and not quite as lightweight, but cross-platform, whereas PDF, um, Sumatra PDF is Windows only. Um, PDF Creator installs a virtual printer to your computer and lets you print to a PDF file. Anything that's on your screen, you can print it and it turns into PDF. Um, PDF SAM stands for Split and Merge. You can split and merge PDF documents um, and rotate and do some other um, editing to them. Free OCR is an optical character recognition tool. You can scan in a document um, and it will recognize the characters on it and turn them into editable text. You can also turn images with text on them into editable text. LibreOffice is a complete office collection, productivity collection like Microsoft Office. has spreadsheets, presentations, tools, database, word processing, things like that. GNU Cash is a program similar to QuickBooks. It's a financial accounting software. FreeMind is a mind mapping software. Open Project is a project management software. And RapidMiner is a data mining and data analysis tool. Um, the Ubuntu Live CD uh, is the Linux Ubuntu operating system that you can just boot directly from the CD. It's a great tool. I have it in this lineup because you can use it to retrieve data from computers that maybe you don't know the password to or that have operating systems that have crashed. Test Disk is a program that will let you undelete files and find files on your hard drive that have been deleted and restore them. Windows Directory Statistics um, visually represents all of the data on your hard drive and shows you the size and what file types they are and lets you visually see how the what how much space is being taken up on your hard drive and lets you kind of clean that up too if you want to. Agent Ransack is a Agent Ransack and DocFetcher both are programs that let you search documents, multiple documents on your computer and multiple files and find words or phrases within them. OpenVPN is a virtual private network tool. Um, it lets you do peer-to-peer uh, -peer remote access of other, of other computers. OpenRemote is a home automation software. You can control things in your home or business using your smartphone or your laptop or a tablet PC. Big Blue Button is a collaboration tool. Um, you can have multiple video chat on it. You can share your desktop. And you can do whiteboard tools. It's designed as an education tool. It's similar to GoToMeeting. Pigeon is a program, a multiple chat client program. You can chat on your MSN, Yahoo accounts, multiple accounts at once, um, just using the, the same tool. Um, Thunderbird is a email client similar to Outlook Express and Apple I, Apple mail, is that what it's called? Um, KeyPassX is a program uh, for managing all of your passwords. It's a password manager. Uh, you just use one password to one password to rule them all, I guess. You log in and it stores all the rest of your passwords securely. Um, TrueCrypt is a encryption program. You can encrypt your entire hard disk or, or a storage device. You can also encrypt just individual files on your computer. Crypt tool lets you teaches you how to do cryptography. It lets you analyze cryptography and decrypt messages and create encrypted messages. Um, 7-Zip is a file archiver and compression tool. You can also use it to create encrypted archives. Eraser is a program that can securely delete sensitive data off your computer so it can't be ever be found again. Chromium is the open source version of the Chrome browser. Um, and I've included it in this lineup because it can be, it has a feature, that, and so does Chrome, that lets you browse in incognito mode, which doesn't store cookies and it doesn't store um, history. Um, so it's sort of a secure browse, way to browse the internet, sort of secure. Tor is even more secure. Tor browser lets you browse the internet using a proxy IP address. So people don't know exactly, it makes it hard for people to know where you're from and who you are while browsing the internet. PeerBlock is an, an IP blocking tool. It blocks, you can download lists that block certain IP addresses that are known to invade on your privacy and, and harm your computer. 
Freenet is a decentralized internet type um, peer to peer um, internet browser, I guess you could say. You can uh, has message boards, you can host websites on it, you can um, you can do file sharing, things like that. So it's um, make, it's yeah, yeah, look into that if you're interested in it. Um, Bleachbit is a program for deleting sensitive data off your computer. It goes through multiple programs like your um, it clears all your temporary files and all of your internet browsing files and things like that. Um, Qubit Torrent is a torrent downloader and file uh, peer-to-peer file sharing platform. 4K Video Downloader lets you download videos from sites like YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook, and you can save them to your computer and then watch them later. Down Them All is actually a Firefox extension, and it lets you download all of the links on one on a certain website, website or all of the images and things like that on a web page. FileZilla is a is an FTP client. You can use it to access um, files over the internet, file sharing. Wireshark is a, a protocol, a network protocol analyzer. You can use it to um, view data on your network, whether it's wired or wireless. You can also use it as a as a packet sniffer for um, eavesdropping on wireless data that's in your area. Putty is a networking tool that you can use to remotely access other computers on your network. Sigwin is a program that will install that uh, lets that creates a Unix type environment on a Windows operating system. HSF Explorer lets you browse Macintosh formatted disks on a Windows or Linux system um, and get information off of them. Synergy lets you control multiple computers using a single keyboard and mouse, even if those computers are of different platforms like Windows, Macintosh, Linux. VirtualBox lets you create a virtual running machine on your computer that you can then um, host a different operating system on. For example, if you have Windows, you can use this to have an, an embedded virtually running Linux system also at the same time on your computer, and you can run multiple systems at once. Well, those are the programs in this video. Go ahead and watch video three if you haven't watched that one yet for more great free software. Um, visit my website for inf more information about these or watch my other videos where I do in-depth reviews of each one and kind of show you some of the features and how they work. Uh, so that's the video. Have a great day.